Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to Mysterious Writings YouTube channel. As you know, here at Mysterious Writings, we ask the questions in order to find answers. Please join me in this episode as we ask the question, what is the Dutch Schultz treasure? Let's get to it. The tale of Dutch Schultz's lost treasure can take one into the heart of the Catskills and into the small community of Phoenicia. The mountainous region, only a couple hours from New York City, is now a popular place for tourists to enjoy lots of outdoor activities. Camping, hiking, tubing, and fishing are common attractions during the summer months, and probably more than known, also treasure hunting. Arthur Flagenheimer, nicknamed Dutch Schultz, was one of the top New York City gangsters. It is well known he made a fortune during the 1920s and into the 1930s, up until the time of his death on October 24, 1935. Gunned down at the Palace Chop House on the night of the 23rd, Schultz was quickly taken to the hospital where a police stenographer recorded his dying words. Delirious with a high fever, Schultz's last words possibly contained veiled references to a buried stash of millions. Although there are different versions of these last words, Phoenicia, either by directly being mentioned, Lulu, drive me back to Phoenicia, or hinting towards a geographical feature like the devil's tombstone in the area, don't let Satan draw you too fast, is a prime location to start one's search. It is believed, and very likely, Dutch Schultz had buried large amounts of cash, bonds, jewels, and diamonds in the year 1933 before he went to trial for tax evasion. Concerned he may be heading to jail and wanting to protect some of his fortune for when he was later released, Schultz and his bodyguard, Lulu Rosencrantz, are thought to have driven somewhere to bury a valuable stash. It is believed he died before he was able to return to this secretive spot and retrieve it. Phoenicia is a place rumored to have seen Schultz and Lulu during the time he would have hid the infamous treasure. Based on various counts about the buried riches, Believes it was hidden along Esopus Creek and a few miles out of Phoenicia near the railroad or within a grove of pines are popular places to look. Personally, my husband and I like the area of Route 214 north of Phoenicia. The Devil's Tombstone refers to a large boulder up in the vicinity and gave a name to the campground in that area. Stories that the nearby mountains were a favorite romping ground for the Devil gave rise to the title. Deeper into the mountains is another rock feature named the Devil's Face. Both of these places are thought to be the meaning behind some of Schultz's last words and are other places to investigate if in the area. It may be true you can't take it with you, but Dutch Schultz might have done the next best thing. He took the legendary secret of where he hid his millions with him to the grave. So there you have what the lost treasure of Dutch Schultz is. Can it be found? Please subscribe as we continue to ask questions on this treasure along with other lost treasures like Forrest Fenn, the Beale Treasure, the Dutchman's Mind, and others here on Mysterious Writings. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.